Uh, hi, I'm Joe Sanders from Mazak Automation. I also uh, work in the sales engineering department. We have a new system, uh, basically we've been featured for the last few years, is the spindle health monitoring system. Um, basically this gives you a chance to see the health condition of your spindle, looking at three major features, spindle unbalance, temperature conditions, and bearing health. So after any, any situation that you want to run the spindle health check, you can be do it before cutting, after cutting, um, in between cuts, um, as often as the, the operator sees fit. Doing this gives you a health percentage of life left in your spindle. So if a crash happens, you're able to check your spindle health right away instead of running bad products. Uh, this helps give the operator and the owners a peace of mind in their equipment and know that the system is good to go. We're using AI technology for predictive uh, analytics to see and predict the actual life, the spindle life left. Uh, a lot of our competitor systems are more threshold data. We're actually using uh, machine learning to reinforce our algorithm and makes this a more solid solution for predicting life uh, left in the spindle. So the biggest benefit of this system is for like a small job shop, when they're getting ready to take on a job, knowing their spindle and their machine is healthy enough to take on that job and not cause any downtime. Typically, to get a spindle repaired is two to three weeks. Uh, not right now with a pandemic and uh, sourcing problems, it could be up to four to uh, six weeks. So this gives you a chance to be proactive and be able to get a spindle and service scheduled before uh, complete failure happens. So this is one of the main benefits of the system, to keep your downtime low and your uptime uh, higher. The system is easy to basically run. You just want a one minute RACRO, um, basically at the beginning, uh, middle, anywhere in your program, um, we run a, uh, a free-running uh, spindle test, so there's no cutting involved. Um, once the algorithm is programmed to the machine, um, the signature is set, and basically you'll always have a, a good baseline of where your machine was and where it's going to be.